So obviously you all know I love animated death. And I've already made a video about this. So why the hell am I making another video about this? The reason is, when I first started YouTube, most of my friends didn't watch anime and most still don't watch anime. Which is pretty damn depressing if you ask me. But I still appreciate the crazy support I got for them. And I know the first video I made about this may have helped some people get into anime. But let's be honest. That video was way too formal and I wouldn't be surprised if I bored a few people to death. It would be amazing if all my friends would watch anime or at least have seen one anime and it would be something for them to enjoy. So here I am with part 2. If you watch anime already you still can see this video, maybe it will remind you why you first got into anime and help you get through a burnout. Please kindly like this video as it does support the channel and if you have a friend who doesn't like anime you can share them this video and if you're new please kindly subscribe. But enough formalities, let's get into it. I won't be covering all the previous topics I discussed in the previous video, that being plot, world building, etc. This video will center around how to get into the medium, what to avoid, how to see what you enjoy, and maybe one or two things to look forward to. So, in my previous video, I covered all the strong points of anime and literally neglected all the negatives. But to be honest, there aren't any negatives, but we'll cover them anyway. So after interviewing two people, yes, only two people, they told me the reason they haven't gotten into anime is because some anime are too long and there's too much violence. Okay, let's not be toxic and address this in a nice way. There are other genres of anime, not only action, and there are plenty of good 12 slash 24 episode anime. Slice of Life slash Romance anime are genuinely the short ones and they are masterpieces and are a must watch. Other few negatives are that anime is a knockoff version of cartoons. Well you see, 90% of anime are made from a manga which is a Japanese comic, but you see manga came out before comics and most cartoons are adapted from comics, so indirectly cartoons copied anime. But is anime for kids? No, 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 just no. There is a genre of anime for kids and the rest is pretty much for teenagers and adults. So we finally have that out of the way. Another negative is the fear of following into the fear of falling into degeneracy and losing all interest in 3D women slash men. Okay, trust me. That's you'll never regret that. If you know of any more negatives that stopped you from getting into anime or, or that you've heard of, you can them down below, I'll address them. Now, before we get into how to get into anime, here's a few things to look forward to. Anime is truly a work of art, from the amazing fights, emotional scenes that will break you, breathtaking animation and nutworthy soundtracks to the treasure that our life is. Anime can take all the amazing aspects you want in a show and make them even better. The thrills, the spills, the highs and the lows are all amazing and something everyone should be able to experience. Not to mention that anime has some of the best character development, world building, concepts and ideals. I honestly hope I intrigued you with those words. If I didn't, well, just give anime a try. It's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. For someone getting into anime, you should really start off with an anime that is considered to be a masterpiece by the community. Examples being Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Attack on Titan, Code Geass, etc. If your favorite anime isn't there, I'm sorry, I try to only recommend short anime for the normies. These anime will keep you on edge and will give you a great time. After that I'd suggest widening your taste and checking out a slice of life slash romance. You could see a sports anime but a lot of people dislike sports anime so we'll stick with slice of life and romance. A recommendation would be Orakairu, Classroom of the Leads and March Comes in Like a Lion. After this I think you might be dead set on what you like and what you don't. Now you'll be able to binge anime for periods of time that shouldn't be possible. Enjoy this period as much as so now you can either choose to invest in your first long series or continue with short shows. A few big anime suggestions would be One Piece, Naruto, Bleach and Kintama. You can also choose to watch newer ongoing shows such as Black Clover, Jujutsu Kaisen and My Hero Academia. And once you're caught up and you don't know what to do, 
you can now get into manga the original source material so just search up on what chapter the last season of the show you're looking for ended then read from there new manga chapters come out weekly and being a manga reader has many advantages one of them not having the risk of spoilers so after you've experienced all of this you can dm me on my socials link in bio and we can have a nice long chat about anime and how bored you were before you experienced anime but there are some things you should avoid you must by all costs avoid the fan bases of my hero academia demon slayer jojo's bizarre adventures and naruto but don't let a fandom ruin the show for you the fandom will never be able to change the story if you want to avoid spoilers i suggest you don't visit any subreddits and mute tags of anime you don't want spoiled for you also don't binge anime every day an occasional 30 episodes in one day is fine but don't do it every day please else you'll suffer a burnout which is terrible and then you won't even be able to like watch three episodes a day 12 episodes a day max should be fine six is actually right but when you're starting off 12 will be fine and if you want more people to talk to anime about there are some cool anime pages on instagram and twitter and anime fans so just search just search <laughs> Just avoid the brain dead ones though but there are some cool people and you'll be able to make some new friends so i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you enjoy your anime experience you don't need to be a full-on weeb but you still should check out a few anime please kindly like if you haven't already subscribe if you are new if you have a friend who doesn't like anime send them this it might even change their mind but yeah that's my rant for today please pray for me to pass my exams bro please and then well yeah stay safe until next time, Rafi out.